Today we will be hacking this dead wireless bell into a working wired bell. First I started by putting in new batteries into the transmitter and receiver to see if that works. But had no luck. So I started opening up both the transmitter and the receiver to see what is the issue. Even that wasn't helpful. So then I decided to turn it into a wide bell. For that first I opened the receiver to see what is the circuit inside. This receiver uses 3 AA batteries which is around 4.5 volts and the closest power supply I could find is a USB. Hence I soldered two wires from a USB cable to the two power supply wires of this receiver board. I powered this circuit using a USB adapter. When I switch on the adapter and press on the select button I could see that the tone is changing and I can hear the tone clearly. That means the receiver is working. Next important thing is to find out the trigger which is coming from the transmitter to this receiver which is generating the tone. Here on this circuit I found this small circuit module which seems like the receiver module. It has 4 pins. With a wild guess I can say that two of them can be a power supply pins and the other two can be a trigger and the wire from an antenna. This small module is connected to this big board here where we also have an onboard antenna, this one. And this board can be the tone generator IC uh, circuit as this is directly connected to the speaker here. So the trigger comes from this wireless small module which is connected to this big uh, circuit where the tone is generated. So now what we'll do is we'll try to connect a wire from the 5 volts positive pin of the USB to each one of these four pins coming from the small board to see if any one of them triggers the tone. And as you can see, one of the pin is responding to a connection. Whenever I connect a wire from this positive wire of USB to this pin, the bell starts ringing. Now what I'll do is, I'll solder this wire to this pin permanently. And I'll solder one more wire to the positive pin of this USB wire. Now we can close the receiver box. For the switch for this bell, we'll be using this transmitter. When I open this up, I could see a small button inside this transmitter. We'll be soldering the two wires from the receiver to the two ends of this button. After this, we can close the transmitter back. Now the double bell is ready. You can change the tone using this select button. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy Kadar channel. Till then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.